All right, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and another card breakdown video like we did last night with the Home Run Derby cards. The All-Star Game cards have just dropped. We're going to go through them quickly here. If you guys enjoy the video and the content, make sure to like and subscribe. For more, we break down every card, or almost every card, that comes out in MLB The Show. And, uh, yep, let's get into it. Of course, you can buy four of these packs for 30k, same as the Home Run Derby packs last night. We'll go through the rewards from the best to the worst. The first card here is 97 overall, starting pitcher Shane Beaver. He won the All-Star Game MVP. I believe he struck out the side in the fifth inning. He's got 98 stamina, 85 Hits per nine, 107 Ks per nine, 99 walks per nine, 80 or uh, 75 home runs per nine, 91 clutch, 88 control, 76 velocity, 95 break, fieldings, everything's in the 50s, pretty standard for a pitcher. There's the hitting if you're curious. Shane Bieber seems like he's going to be a pretty good card, pretty good end game card, to be uh, to be honest. Seems like it's going to be pretty. Pretty solid starter in your rotation. Uh, the pitch selection, fastball, slider, knuckle curve, changeup seems pretty good. Uh, the per nines are great. So, all star game MVP Shane Bieber. The next one is a fireballer Al Aurortis. And I know I'm not saying that right, but it's like one in the morning, so give me a break. Um, Aroldis Chapman, there we go. He's got 118, 125 hits and Ks per nine, which is great. 64 walks per nine, 95 home runs per nine, 105 clutch, 77 control, 99 velocity and break. He's got a 99 mile an hour fastball with that slider. This card is going to be nasty. Uh, 33 fielding is pretty bad, but what do you really expect from Chapman? This card, good lockdown reliever in your pen, certainly. The next card, the one we've all been waiting for, our Lord and Savior, Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo here has 70 and 78 contact, 120 and 124 power with 53 vision. Amazing. Play discipline is at 103, clutch 83, can't really bunt. 78 fielding I believe is higher than his live series, 85 arm strength I think is the same, 59 speed. This card is going to mash, and he's going to be good in the field. I mean, this Joey Gallo is a legitimately good left-handed hitting option there for left field. Um, he looks filthy. Just absolutely amazing. The next one is 92 overall starting pitcher Luis Castillo. He's got 92 stamina, 94 hits per nine, 97 Ks per nine, 68 walks per nine, 67 home runs per nine, 85 clutch, 83 control, 99 velocity, and 93 break. For starting pitcher, those are some pretty good numbers, especially just a 92 as Castillo is. Um, Four-seam fastball is at 98 miles an hour, change-up's 84. Two-seam fastball at 97, slider is at 87. Pretty good fielding. There's the hitting if you're curious. Zeros across the board, not shocking. Uh, Luis Castillo, seems like he'll be a good middle of the rotation guy for you. The next guy is former Cleveland Indian, now Houston Astro, Michael Brantley. He's got 102, 103 contact, 75 and 80 power, 111 vision, which is nasty. Um, 60 discipline, 95 clutch, 35, 28 bunting, 75 fielding. 76 arm strength, just kind of average fielding, which is fine. 44 speed is not great, but he's getting up there in age. Michael Brantley seems like he'll hit pretty well. Seems like he's going to hit fairly well. Uh, not going to be great in the field, but he's not going to be terrible in the field. So, overall, it's not it's not bad. It's pretty It's pretty solid, actually. For a 92, I, this is not the card you want from the pack, obviously, you know, you want one of the top tier guys, but it's, uh, it's not bad. I believe the last guy and the sixth guy is Max Muncy. Now, Muncy had a strange game. I don't remember seeing him get a hit or anything. He just made a diving play or two, I believe, so they boosted his fielding. 
Um, 85 fielding, 89 arm strength. They made him a primary second baseman. I'm not sure what his live series is. I don't believe it's second base. It might be first. Um, but Max Muncy made a couple nice plays in the field. He gets a nice fielding card. Also, I think the hitting stats are boosted from the live series, if I'm not mistaken. It's 71, 86, 100 power for both sides, 66 vision. This card seems pretty good, too. Uh, you can get this card on the market right now for like 10k as I'm recording this, which is solid um, overall. But, yep, those are the six. So the last thing about this pack here, the All-Star Game pack, you have two different layers. It's a one in four chance to get the rare layer, which as you can see on the screen is 94 and above. So Joey Gallo, Chapman, and Bieber are all in the rare layer. You have a one in four chance for that. The rest are in the base layer, which of course is Muncie, Brantley, and Castillo. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Comment down below which card you think looks the best from each layer. For me personally, I think Joey Gallo, because I'm a Rangers fan, is just so exciting to me. And then from the bottom layer, probably Michael Brantley, to be honest. I don't love the Astros, but it's, it's not terrible. It's not too bad. So, uh... Yep, let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe for more of these kinds of videos. And I'm going to edit this, post this, and go to sleep. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.